Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanHeather.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the rich capture function of the Lumia camera available in the latest Lumia Denim update. Rich capture is a very interesting feature of the Lumia camera uh, which gives you ability to capture an image uh, first and later edit the exposure level, the inten flash intensity and the HDR level of the image. So you don't have to spend time in manual settings or in deciding uh, which are the best option uh, to use while taking a picture. So this is the magic wand as you can see here you will have to tap on it to turn the rich capture on and the best way to use the rich capture on your Windows Phone 8.1 device is along with the autofocus. So as I have already said the rich capture provides the ability to edit the HDR the flash and the exposure level later after taking the picture so it's best to select the flash level as auto and let the phone decide whether uh, what is the best uh, suitable settings so I'm going to give you an idea of how to use this feature so if the root capture mode is on just Take a picture, go to the camera roll, it's processing, and once the picture is processed just tap on it and you can see the edit rich capture mode here. Just tap on it and since the flash was used, I'm uh, taking this video right now in inside the room so the phone decided to take a flash in auto flash mode and here is the four options which you can see default flash, no flash, customize. If you go to the customize you can just customize the level of flash as you can see it's changing on the screen and then there's the flash there is no flash option you can select whatever you want let me give you more examples of rest of the functions rest of the labels actually sorry let's go to the camera roll and okay uh, go to edit rich capture and you can see uh, for this picture the selected mode was dynamic exposure not the dynamic SDR or dynamic flash so in, while taking this picture the flash was not used as you can see and then there we are having the three options long exposure short exposure and the customize so if you tap on customize all you need to do is just move the slider to select the level of exposure as you can see it's, the exposure level is changing here and if you select either of these two options long exposure or short exposure the picture will be based on this this is a short exposure picture and if you go to the edit capture mode once again and select the long exposure so you can see it's more bright now let me give you another example okay in this picture the flash is used so here is the dynamic flash the first option is default then flash then no flash and then there is the customize option in which you can select the intensity of the flash as you can see i'm just moving the slider and the flash level is changing So that's why the name is called dynamic flash. So this is how it works. And let me give you an example of dynamic HDR now. So okay, here we go. Just tap on the screen, tap on the edit capture mode, and now you can see the dynamic HDR. There are four options which are natural, artistic, no HDR. And customize so if you if you select the nat, uh, natural or no SDR or artistic you will get the picture according to that and if you select the customize then you can customize the SDR level according to your need so here's the slider and I'm just going to move it up and down and you can see the level of SDR is changing in this picture you can look at the sand dunes in the background and you can see how 
the HDR level is changing here. And that's why the feature is called dynamic HDR, dynamic exposure, or dynamic flash. So this is the rich capture functionality of the Lumia camera, which comes with the latest dynamic update. Thanks for watching the video, friends. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos, more reviews, and more tips. Have a nice day.